seven years, uh, emergency rooms, uh, seven different GI doctors. Um, finally, my last GI doctor thought outside of the box and used a pediatric scope on me and was able to get into the ileum where the tumor was hiding the whole time. A very long, agonizing journey for Marianne Wayman, suffering from a rare cancer she never knew was completely destroying her life. I then proceeded to have surgery to remove the tumor and have been on medication um, to control my symptoms and to control the growth of my tumors. And that's our neuroendocrine tumors. These tumors can occur anywhere in the GI tract and also in the lung. These are slow-growing tumors, but about 20 to 25 percent of them can produce a constellation of symptoms such as explosive, diarrhea, uh, wheezes, facial flushing, and sometimes severe heart disease. This constellation of symptoms is known as carcinoid syndrome. A condition Dr. Hal Gerstein describes as extremely debilitating, and patients like Mary Ann have been constantly misdiagnosed because symptoms are quite common. The neuroendocrine tumors have the potential of producing certain substances which can initiate and potentiate uh, this diarrhea, which can be so severe that patients can become dehydrated, running to the bathroom eight to 10 to 12 times a day. It can produce wheezes that can mimic asthma. It can produce uh, facial flushing, which can mimic menopause. And it can produce, in severe cases, uh, valvular heart disease. Before her last diagnosis, Marianne tells us she was always feeling trapped at home, living her life in the bathroom. And now it's amazing her life has changed so drastically. Now with the medication, having surgery and um, things like that, I'm able to travel all over the country, get on an airplane. Um, we run a foundation, so I'm able to travel all over the country. So in 2003, um, we started a foundation that um, is called the Nora Endocrine Cancer Awareness Network. And we bring educational programs to patients and caregivers, and we just started doing physicians as well. Uh, we bring world-renowned doctors that know about the disease to the patient, so um, they can get the most updated information about treatment. Earlier this year, uh, we have uh, a medication that was approved by the FDA called Zermelo, which along with the somatostatin analog, specifically targets the production of serotonin from the neuroendocrine cancer cells. Serotonin is the substance that's responsible for this incredibly profuse, debilitating diarrhea. And with the use of this medication, we've now been able to significantly control the medication. With the help of her supportive husband, this cancer survivor also launched a website and a hotline available every day of the year. Our website is netcancerawareness.org and our telephone number is 866-850-9555 and we do a referral of sending information packets of the updated information on new medications and treatments and we also give referrals to doctors that treat this disease that know about it because it's not a common disease a lot of doctors don't know about it. Bringing you the best of California, I'm Gigi Copes for California Life.